This is Twit. We better thank Alex Lindsay for mm -hmm. doing this video. He is, I've been, I've been begging him. He's been showing Please. us at the end of every Mac Break Weekly amazing images that he generates with his artificial intelligence. He's become quite adept at it. And I said, it would be really great if you could give us a tutorial on Ask the Tech Guys. Watch. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is a quick overview of how to get started in MidJourney. The first thing to do is go to midjourney.com, and you'll see this option here. You can join beta, sign in. The one you want is join beta, and if you click on that and you have Discord, you will. this will all happen very quickly. It'll say, I'm going to it, and you'll be in the Discord app, <laughs> right into the community. I might ask you to join there the first time you do it. The community is the first place to start, um, and uh, what you can do is you can uh, sign up. You, um, you, can, you can sign up with uh, um, and do a trial, so you'll see trial support. So it'll explain how to do that and, and what's actually going on. You want to start with, um, you know, some of the rules, the FAQ. These are going to explain how you get started. One thing to remember is, is that you, and here's the getting started. And this is really good. You just start typing imagine and you're going to get up to, I believe, 25 of these that you can start with. So um, you can do these for free. Um, and what you're going to do is go into the newbies area here. And you can sign up and start to put in descriptions and you'll see outputs and you'll see other people's outputs as well. Now, I wouldn't just immediately start doing this. This is how you burn up your free versions of it. So don't start here. What you want to do is go down here and you'll see general down here as well as some of the themed image generation. And in here, you're going to start to see people doing stuff. And what you want to do is start looking at what they're doing here and searching and, and, and really paying attention to it. So... You, you look at, you know, generally it's the most important subject starts at the beginning and then a modifier and then another less, less important modifier is kind of how most of these go. Um, the thing you see here a lot is AR, that's, that's dash dash AR two to three, which means that they want the aspect ratio to be there. And by the way, this little things like spaces make a difference. Like I'm not sure if this one actually, yeah, this one didn't work. See how these are square and they hit AR? It's because they left a space, right? So you got to really pay attention to the nomenclature of what people are doing here and what, what results they're getting, you know, out of this, this piece, but you can take a look at what they're typing in and take a look at what they got. Um, and you, and there's hundreds or thousands of these. Some people put in an enormous amount of data in here. I don't know if all of it matters. <laughs> I will tell you, like, I don't know if all of that matters. Um, but they, they put a lot of it in and they get a result that they expected out of here. And they are producing, some folks are producing incredible results there, but study these things and figure out and look at what they're putting in, look at what the options are um, in, these, in these areas. And so um, the, the, uh, the aspect ratio is the one I use the most. I use three to, 16 by nine or three to two, mostly so that I can, they look nice on a screen. So that's what I pay attention to, but you can go through and look at a lot of these and just to see what you like. And a lot of this is almost a mood board of things that you think are cool, and then look at what they did to get those. And there are lots of them to look at. So spend a little time doing that, then go back up to Newbie and try your own. And all you have to do is hit imagine. And then the, when you see prompt, you start to type in what you want there. Now I'm not gonna bother to do that because I have my own bot. So once you want, decide you wanna do this, you can sign up for your own bot. Um, and uh, once, you, once you've done that, you get your own bot here. So if I go to my bot, oh, that's, the, that's the community. So this is my bot here. So uh, this is, these are, these are obviously wood chucks chucking wood. I don't really know. It looks more like they're cutting wood here, or planning to chuck wood. I'm, I'm not really sure, sure exactly what's going on. But what you can see here is that I did a, you know, I just gave it a basic prompt. I have an aspect ratio. So let's, let's talk about how this actually works. So you go imagine. And then you can say, imagine Leo Laporte flying a red dragon. And then you can put in something like uh, glam lighting and we'll do AR that's aspect ratio 16 by nine and we'll hit go. Now what I have here is I have Leo flying a red dragon and I can decide that I like those. I can, if I hit this button here, it's going to just redo it all. If I hit one of these top buttons here, it's going to upscale it. So if I want to see a larger version of Leo here uh, riding this dragon, or I pick one of these ones that I want to, to have him uh, ride, uh, I can hit this. And that, what that's going to do is start to do what's called an upscale. And so that's going to start upscale and make a larger version of it. I could also say, I just want more versions of that and click that here. <laughs> riding a horse, for some reason, holding what looks to be something here. He's having a great time. Leo doesn't have his glasses on. It looks a little like Leo, 
Um, and of course you can keep on trying to do these. And, and again, if you start to reseed them, tell them to do another version of it, do it. And here's four different, slightly different versions of all of those things. And so now it's not going to be totally accurate. It's doing it from a description here. And so this might not have been the best example. You can also do something like, let's say, imagine Leo, uh, imagine, well, you can also do something like grab onto an image. So what I can do is I can actually take an image of, uh, I can take an image of myself and I can just put it here and load it in. So there's an image of myself and I can right click on this and say, I want to copy the link. And then I can hit imagine and I can paste that link in and say, uh, uh, see riding, let's try this, riding a red dragon glam lighting AR 16 by nine. So here you can see it took my image, the image that I gave it here and just started putting me in front of a dragon. Now, why I didn't have me ride it in, I probably needed to say on a dragon. So we'll try again. Imagine me as a Jedi Knight realistic in the style of manga dash dash AR sixteen by nine. So here are a couple of versions of this and you can see kind of on the realistic side, uh, you know, a lot of different different looks for me. Um, but taking that in initial photo and um, building them into a certain look and, and a certain build. And again, if I wanted to see any of those on their own, um, I can actually just simply go in and say, well, I like this number three, give me a high res one and maybe give me some more looking like that. So that's how that works. Um, that's the basics of it. You can mix and match styles, mix and match looks. Um, but the main thing is, is that you want to experiment. You want to, a lot of times it's not the first thing like Dolly. Mostly it's like the first thing you get is what you get. With mid journey, you're constantly saying, I want a little bit more of this, or let's try this, or let's go down. You're following the paths. You're going down the paths that you see here of picking new seeds and then scaling up some of them. I scale up a lot of them um, just to see what they look like at full resolution. And so, but but that's the kind of thing. You'll notice that your, your seeds will go a lot faster than your up res currently. So that's how you get started in the way to get good at this is first to look at what everybody else is doing and then start doing your own. Now I will admit that, um, if you like it at all, get the basic one. You know, I think there's like $15 a month that you can get, get started. And then after that, you can keep on going. I have, I do these a lot. <laughs> so, and you can come up with a lot of, you know, anything that you start to think of, you don't, you know, you can start to kind of throw in here and have a lot of fun. So hopefully that gets you started. Um, and get you kind of a sense of how this all works. Um, it's definitely worth checking out now while it's fresh and fun. Uh, you can see that the real skill, thank you, Alex Lindsay, by the way, his stuff is amazing. And we I sometimes use it as our album art on Mac Break Weekly, yeah. one of the hosts of Mac Break Weekly. But you could see that it's really one of those things where you're almost like you're whittling. You, you, you don't, you kind of, and you could tell he has a lot of patience uh, I think it's kind of, he does it during the show. So I think it's the kind of thing he has like oh, off to sort the of side fidgeting. and he fidgets with it yeah. and it gets better and da, 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 da. Uh, it's really amazing experience. As he pointed out, mid journey is not free. You, if after the first few images, you have to pay for it. If you had a really high powered gaming machine, you could download stable diffusion. That's open source uh, and free uh, and then play with it uh, and do almost, uh, I mean, pretty much the same kinds of things. There's a lot of settings. It takes a while to get used to that. I had no idea you could use an image of yourself with it. I thought that that was a advanced feature that was not possible. He's just popping in an image of himself saying, change this one as you want it. I thought I had to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, to make he's, it happen, yeah so. so that's something I think Mid Journey does better than others. Stable Diffusion, you, it, you know, you want to have a 10 different images and different poses and stuff. Uh, it's pretty impressive that uh, Mid Journey can do that. He also said if if you're, he said uh, you could just use Leo's name because there's enough pictures of me on the internet. <laughs> That's a risky thing. There's enough pictures of me on the internet that you could, uh, you could use that. Okay. Yeah, I probably want to upload, upload those pictures. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. 
Explore everything ACI Learning has to offer and protect your organization's readiness with IT Pro, Audit Pro, including enterprise solutions, webinars, and the Skeptical Auditor podcast, practice labs, learning hubs, and ACI Learning's partnership program. Visit acilearning.com and let ACI power up your IT team.